Hello, my friends. This is Chris Salerno with The Curious Dentist, and I want to talk about how to make a verification jig for an implant restoration, a very critical step that is often overlooked. If I have more than one implant that is going to be connected together in a restoration, whether it's screw retained or cement retained, doesn't matter. Here you see a full arch of implants, but this even works if I'm just doing two implants that are going to be connected together. I want to make a verification jig. I want to make sure that the model is accurate to what's in the mouth before I make the restoration. So you'll see here I have the impression copings. This is a NEOS system. I have impression copings that are put on the model. I've already taken my impression. I just want to make sure that this model is verified. I want to use a verification jig to do so. So you'll see me take some floss and just thread this and tie this around the implants. I'm just going to be weaving around back and forth. What the floss does is serve as a matrix for me to now put a harder setting material on. I like to use GC resin. So I'm threading this around, all around all of the implants that I'm using. Again, it could be a full arch, or it could just be two uh, implants that I'm connecting together. And I've taken my impression, you know, the most accurate way I can, um, but now on the model is where I'm going to make sure that it's verified. Again, I'd rather adjust a, a GC resin verification jig than cut metal that's already been fabricated into a framework. So now you're seeing me apply the GC resin and this is a powder and liquid. I go back and forth. This takes a little bit of time. It's not a, a large process, but uh, it does take, you know, it set aside some time to do this lab work. And I'm careful to put this only around the retentive elements of the impression coping and also on the floss. I want to keep this away from where the gingiva is. I want to keep this away from where the, uh, the access pins, the screw pins are for the impression coping. So I want to keep that all, all safe and clear. I just want to be linking all of these together uh, so it's nice and stable. And I'm going to let it sit overnight. I mean, you could let it sit for a few hours. That's fine. But I'd rather let this sit overnight because now I know when I come in in the morning, it's going to be very stable. It's not going to be any uh, shifting afterwards. If I were to unscrew this after I put the GC on, even when it seems sort of uh, rigid, there may still be some warping of the framework as the GC sets. So I let it sit overnight. I then try it in the mouth. And here you can see that I, as I'm doing my passive fit test in this one area, it wasn't fitting down all the way. So I can easily cut the GC resin, no big deal, and then apply new GC resin in the patient's mouth, just in that little space. Very easy to do this to verification jig as opposed to a metal framework. So very critical step. I hope you all start doing this if you aren't already. Thanks.